Welcome everyone. Today's video will be a 2024 guide to the Phantom Wallet. We'll be taking a look into how to set it up, how to get coins into your wallet, as well as withdrawing and just generally navigating the wallet. So the first thing that you need to do to get set up is head over to phantom.app and download the wallet there. Once you've downloaded it, you should be able to create a new wallet. And when you do this, you'll be given a seed phrase. That seed phrase allows anyone to be able to restore that wallet elsewhere. It's basically the key to get into your crypto wallet. So write that down somewhere. If you lose it, you won't be able to get your funds back. So once you've got that up and running, it should look something like this. And the next step is to get some Solana into your wallet. And that Solana is going to pay for your transactions on the Solana blockchain. So you're going to need to go to whatever exchange that you have that offers Solana. For today's video, I'm on Bitstamp. It's quite a reliable exchange. Once you've done that, we need to withdraw this soul into your phantom wallet. So I went to the withdrawal tab on Bitstamp, went to crypto withdrawal, and then we're gonna type in Solana here press continue and so we need to find our phantom address in order to send that soul to so I'll click on the phantom app go up here and then click this button here and that will copy our Solana address there paste it in here and then send all of the soul available into that wallet so right here where it says your portfolio value it should say zero dollars if you've just set up your wallet but for me i have some soul in my wallet so it says 27 dollars. and below that we have the amount my wallet increased by in dollar value terms in the past 24 hours and to the right of that that is the percentage change up here if we hover over this, we have the various different addresses attached to my Phantom wallet. So Phantom is a multi-chain wallet, so you're able to use it on Solana, Ethereum, and Polygon. So for today's video, we're taking a look at Phantom purely from a perspective of using it on Solana. So if you click here on the address, it will copy it to your keyboard, and then you'll be able to take that address and then easily paste it in elsewhere. So if we go up here, if we click this button, it will take us to the edit account page. And here you can change your avatar. So right now, because the name of my uh, address is called races, it just currently has an R, but you can change it to an emoji. And you can also change it to an NFT. So there we go, avatar updated. If you click on here, it will just show you again your account addresses and you can press copy here and then paste it elsewhere as you would like. And here we have show secret phrase. So this is the phrase that I told you earlier on to write down somewhere and keep it safe. But just in case that that secret phrase is lost, you can go to this tab right here, click on it, enter your password and it will show you your secret recovery phrase. Now here we have the deposit button. If you click on this, it will give you an option to choose which token that you want to deposit into your wallet. Now, every SPL token will have the same address. So say, for example, we have Solana here. Uh, my race's address is FFYD. And then let's just say I wanted to deposit Radium. It's the same address. So you really don't have to worry about finding a particular asset and then uh, looking at its address. If it's an SPL token, meaning it exists on Solana, it will all be the same address. The only exceptions we have here are the Ethereum and Polygon addresses here. They are going to be different from your Solana one. And over here we have a send button. So you can choose to send whatever token you want to a different Solana address. So if you want to withdraw uh, your Sol or your USDC, for example, from your Phantom wallet to a centralized exchange, you take your centralized exchange wallet and then paste it in here and how much you want, press next, sign a transaction, and then the tokens will leave your wallet. And just going further down the Phantom wallet UI, we have a couple of news posts here. So this will just keep you up to date with some of the important things happening in the ecosystem, as well as some updates uh, with the Phantom wallet. So here we have the Solana mobile announces a new device, um, import your MetaMask accounts uh, into here we have importing your MetaMask accounts into Phantom and just a bunch of other stuff as well. And you can obviously just get rid of them as well just by clicking this X here. 
And going further down, we have the tokens that are currently in your wallet. As we can see here, I have 0.27 sold in my wallet. Just going down here to manage token list. If I just click this, I can hide these balances in my wallet. And there you go, they've disappeared. Now let's take a look at another tab. So this is the first initial tab that you'll be exposed to when you open up the Phantom Wallet. But this one here just shows any of the NFTs that are currently in your wallet. So you can see here, I have two main ones and then some spam NFTs that have been sent to me in my wallets. If you wanna get rid of them, obviously you can hide them. But if you just wanna get rid of them out of your wallet permanently, you click on them and then click on these three dots over here. I mean, you can send them to someone else. Um, or you can press burn token and press this. I understand this cannot be done. It will cost me uh, a small network fee in order to do so, but you can press burn and it will remove it from your wallet. So when you click on these NFTs, sometimes they'll have animations, which are pretty cool. And if you press send here and then paste in a Solana address, you can move it to a different wallet or to someone else. Scrolling down here, we can see that the collection is called Drift Alpha Ticket V2. We can see the amount of unique holders as well as the network that is currently on and its properties, which is down here that says category image. So let's take a look into the next tab that we have here and it's the swap page. So you're able to swap in and out of different tokens all within the Phantom Wallet itself. So you won't have to go to a separate website in order to do so. Just note that you won't get the best rates when actually swapping within the Phantom Wallet itself. You're better off going to somewhere like Jupiter. Now it depends on which country you're actually residing in currently because I'm from the UK and I'm not able to use this swap function. So I, I imagine if you're from the UK, the US, Ukraine and North Korea, you know, countries like that, um, countries that where you have been protected from decentralized finance, you won't be able to access the swap tab. Now onto the next tab here, we have the recent activity. So it'll show you all of the interactions that you have done recently. Um, buying different tokens, selling different tokens, um, buying NFTs, selling NFTs, uh, burning NFTs, uh, sending uh, wallet balances to different wallets, that sort of thing. And you can click on any of these transactions and it will show you the date, the time, as well as give you a link to SoulScan, which is where you can take a proper look at the transaction in more depth. Now let's take a look at the last tab. And so we have multiple different things here. So apps, tokens, collections, and quests. We'll take a look at apps first. So this will just show you most of the popular apps on Solano. So we have Magic Eden, which is an NFT marketplace, Jupiter, which is the premier decentralized exchange aggregator on Solana, uh, and Radium, which is another decentralized exchange. And you can just scroll down here and look at the various different apps that are actually available. If you click on this, it will take you to the uh, website for that particular app. I clicked on the Magic Eden icon and it took me to magiceden.io. Now this function can actually be quite handy, particularly because there are a lot of scam websites out there. And so if you want to make sure that you can go to the right website every single time, you can just go to the um, app tab and then just click on whatever app that you wanna access. Additionally, you can just look for other apps up here. So if I went to visit Mango Markets, I can just go from here. Now let's just take a look at the tokens tab. So it will show you some of the trending tokens on Solana right now, um, as well as their performance, the amount of volume that's being traded. Currently, we have all of the tokens ranked by their 24 hour volume, but you can change this to the ones that have gained the most in the past 24 hours, ones that have lost the most in the past 24 hours, as well as market cap here as well. Moving on, we have collections. So this is basically another NFT tab. So this will just show you the trending uh, NFTs that are out there right now. Saga Monkeys, uh, Open Soul Map, Crypto Undeads, that sort of thing. And again, we're sorted by trending. If we go to top, we can see the ones that have had the most volume in the past 24 hours. So that's Crypto Undeads, Open Soul Map, and Mad Lads. If we go to the quests page, it will give you various different things that you can do in order to earn different NFTs, collectibles, maybe perhaps some prizes. So this one that we have here is subscribe to Drip for free Solana collectibles, and it has 38 days left. So if you click on it, it will just give you a greater detail as to what you need to do in order to qualify for this quest if you press start it will take you to the website and then you can connect your wallet and do whatever the quest asks you to do so we've taken a look at all of the different tabs that we have here at the bottom of the phantom wallet so let's click here 
So this should look different to what you're seeing on your screen. So here we can see the various different wallets that I've actually set up. So if I just go down here, I can press add or connect wallet create a new account and then it will open up an account 10 for me here obviously i can change the name i can just call it df and then change the avatar as well i won't do that right now but i just press create and it'll take me to a brand new wallet now this can be useful if you just want to split up your activities between different wallets you might have one wallet that is specifically for nfts another wallet where you do all of your trading now if we go here to the settings button if you just click on this it will show you um, obviously the name of your particular account and then you can edit it here as well as uh, a manage accounts page and preferences if you go to preferences you can change your display language going down to the security and privacy page if i just click on that you're able to change your password here uh, as well as auto lock your wallet and here we have active networks if you click on this it will just show you the networks that phantom is currently active on and ones that you can connect your wallet with and the last thing i wanted to talk about is this help and support tab if you click on that it will take you to the phantom help website and basically here it will answer most of the questions that you have about phantom so that was it for this video i hope you liked it and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one